Hello friend, this is Anup from PKZ. Today I'm going to talk about how flashing a custom ROM makes your old smartphone a new smartphone. Without further ado, let's start. Friends, I have a Asus ROG phone. This is an old device which came in the year 2019, uh, which was one of the best gaming phones of that year. This device still has one of the best specs to run any hard high-end games and this still runs fine. This has only one problem, that is the software is outdated. It runs on Android 11 with the stock OS. Now, there were also some myths that were not allowing me to go to the other route because few people said that custom ROMs were not good for banking apps and for your work files. 2020, I first changed the skin of the phone, added one back cover and made it one look like from the exterior front that it does a model. The last one month, I just unlocked the bootloader of Asus ROG phone too, through the unofficial way and uh, since this phone is not supported anymore by Asus and then I flashed a custom ROM which runs on Android 13, that is the Blitz ROM 16.8, which is the Blitz ROM and this runs Android 13. After flashing this custom ROM, I started to use my Asus ROG phone too as my daily driver. This is the same phone that I used that I use for my work and also for banking apps like Google Pay. Is it safe to flash a custom ROM in 2023? I would say yes. There are a lot of custom ROMs that add security layers to it despite the phone being unlocked with the bootloader allows you to use it as your daily driver without any compromise to the security. Do you have any phone lying inside your desk? I would suggest pick it out and if you know how to flash custom ROMs, do give it a try and make your device a new one. In the morning, I picked Teams calls and uh, did some banking transactions using this phone running this Android 13 OS, the Bliss ROM, the custom ROM and this ROM is cool to use. It has so many other features custom ROM have a lot of so many advanced features which you don't find in the normal stock OS of any other brand. Say for, say for example, do you see an equalizer that is being played at the bottom of the screen and also in the lock screen that there is some equalizer that's played and you have a dot or nothing type of uh, fonts here on the lock screen and there are so many customizations that you can do with a custom ROM.
I'm still I'm I'm still uh, amazed to see this four year old device still having the hardware uh, to run mon modern uh, software and uh, so you can you cannot change anything with respect to the hardware but you can definitely change the software of your smartphone so I hope this video is helpful to you and you might so if you are someone who who are trying to check if custom ROMs are good for modern smartphones and it is uh, is it safe to use it for banking apps and a normal daily life i hope this video is useful to you let's meet in the next video until then this is anup signing off bye bye